Hi. Hi, how you doing? Hi, how are you, KZ? Big name, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Good to finally meet you. Uh, yeah, me too. Heard a lot about you. Right, you have done so much. You are an award-winning artist. You are a musician. Apart from that, you're a songwriter. You are a producer. You do a lot. Yeah, yeah exactly. Do a lot. <laughs> All right, now let's just get right into it. Now you are, you are, you grew up, you are in Ghana at some point at a refugee camp, and that's where your music journey started. So tell us about that. Oh yes, yeah. so uh, I fled from Liberia, my family and I, when I was young, because of the uh, the civil war back home in Liberia. Yeah, so um, we went to Ghana. So that's how I started doing music. Met a producer in a barber shop, and then I was uh, at that time I was doing a freestyle on a hip hop beat, and then the producer like, "Oh, this sounds good. Uh, can can we work together?" I'm like, "Yeah, we can give it a try." And then that's how we um, we drop a single. And then when I drop a single, it went like really big all over Africa. So that's how I got in the game. Transition between like barrier and Nigeria. Ah, there's a it's a lot of changes, you know, because now now uh, my fan changes. Uh, I I got a lot of new fans, and then um being being out of Liberia is a very big it's very it's very big challenging for me, you know, like getting to not really changing your kind of music, but you have to be able to to um to dedicate what people, you know, to, to be able to uh, deliver side what people what people want to hear nowadays. And then for my kind of music, I do is like a typical traditional Afro kind of beat. So it's like, I have to change a little bit, bring the Afro with the new star, get it to meet new people, you know, new, new producer and everything. It's very challenging for me. Every other song that was being produced in like Beria was all about war and politics, but that was something different. And now you have influenced uh, the the scene in a great way. So tell us about that, uh, uh, about the whole journey. Yeah, that's a good one. So when my music, right, it's like um, old traditional songs people used to sing back home, like doing long, long time ago, before even my father, father was born, you know? So that's the kind of music people used to sing. And then um, I grew up listening to people singing those kind of songs, especially when they are, people are going out to like a traditional party, traditional engagement, you know, and stuff like that. So I was in Ghana, I was thinking about, okay, I'm coming back home. Everybody doing it, as you said, everybody doing singing about peace, reconciliation, and stuff. What can I bring to the people? So I like, okay. I start to go back to back to the history, you know. I say, okay, I think I need to do something that people that should be that people should identify where I'm coming from. People should know where I'm coming from. Even when I once the year is going to be that, oh yeah, because imagine Jamaican guy reggae and raga, a uh, 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 Ghanaian guy hip life, and uh, 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 the Caribbean the guys the guys soca music. You know what I mean? So I was trying to I was trying to to to, to bring out something strange that. The war happened earlier, you know what I'm trying to say? So I'm like, okay, I will, I will do the traditional music, but my music, they have the, that was the name, but my music, you know, people people used to do that before, but I, I just brought it, but my, in a different, in a different way, you know? And then trust me, once I, I brought it, but my, everybody was like, this is what we've been waiting for, this is what we've been, because even the, 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 the market women that sell pepper in the market can, can relate to the music that, that I, that I do. You understand? So that's how, once I did it, but my because they've been lost. I feel the people been lost. The people were missing the, 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 the tradition, the culture, they were missing the culture. So I brought it back to life. Yeah, so that's how I came about doing but my music. I feel so proud. I received calls from every part of the world. People want to know about my music. I even got a call from BBC that they even want to do an interview about when my, what is this labyrinth when my, my music everybody is talking about. And I feel so honored and proud that at least now people are now listening to what I what I started to do, you know? So that's it. 
Yeah, and uh, you are also a great advocate for other African artists to do that. So you've been very vocal about that. Do you still feel the same way? Uh, you are telling artists to try to dig deeper into their culture and produce more music that are that speak about their culture. You still feel the same way? Yeah, trust me. I I will encourage any artist. Let me just tell you one thing. The world want to hear something new. They want to, they want to see what you can. They want to, people tired listening to things over and over and over and over again. So I, you can tap into another. You can tap into other stars. Don't get me wrong. I do other music, you know. But I I stick focus on the where my music. You understand? So I just want to encourage any artist that are coming out there, coming out new artists and stuff. Just be original. Be yourself. You know what I mean? You can't be like another person. You understand? Just stick to what, stick, like, that's the good thing God make everybody to talk differently. So if you can talk differently, that means you can say something that people want to, you understand? To come up with something strange, something dope, something creative, be yourself. Don't, don't be like, you know, don't sound like other people, sound like who you are. That's it. That's my, 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 my words to, to artists that is coming up. Yeah, I get that. And also, um, I wanted to talk about the fact that uh, Bema is very big in Liberia, but uh, yeah. other countries, what do you think you need needs to be done so that even this part of Africa, people get to listen to that? Because we have in Kenya, people sometimes listen to Nigerian artists, different, uh, even Ghanaian artists, but right here, we, we don't have, Bema is not big in Kenya. So, how, what do you think you, you're, you're supposed to do to make sure that it becomes as big as these other, uh, like Afrobeats are? Uh, so, first thing first, I would say, like, what I'm from is like, my country that I'm, that I'm coming from, Liberia, we're just trying to build up everything. You know, we just, we, we, we're still trying to heal from a lot of, lot of stuff that happened back home. So, we talk about financially, we need to invest more in, um, in, into our into our our, our traditional songs, even um, what I, I even had an interview in, with a newspaper in Nigeria, and that's what I said. Our our music need a good governance to be able to 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 make people to, to hear the music. And what I'm doing for my and I'm trying to encourage a lot of young artists that to 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 to, to tap into the Burma music. You understand that to to be able to spray out there like um this year uh. You're gonna hear like few new artists, almost like seven new artists coming out with some really dope Burma songs. You understand? So if we get, if we encourage people to do more Burma music, be original from what, and be proud of where they're coming from, and it, because you have to, you have to be proud of yourself. And before people can, before anybody can listen to you, you have to, you know what I'm trying to say? Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's a struggle. It's a journey. We're still doing it. You understand? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I am today. You're doing an interview, me asking me about, about my music. You understand? So it's a gradual process and stuff like that. And then nowadays, one of the things I'm doing, I got some new videos coming up. Like, because when people hear about my music, they all the thing about is traditional stuff. You know what I'm trying to say? So now I'm trying to infuse some, some you know, some of the new kind of uh, video, the video differently bring the video to the people differently that you 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 know it's been my music but why I sing a Rose Rock car in the been my music why I sing a Ferrari jet in the been my music video you understand to grab people's attention that's one of the things I'm working on doing some really good videos that people are going to be like oh my god he sounds different but look at the kind of car he's driving oh my god he's dope you understand because when my music the very first time I, I performed when my music like everybody expected me to dress in an African attire, African clothes, you know. When they saw me coming out, because the song was a hit. Everybody thought it was some old man that did the song, you know. When they saw me coming out, chain, trailer, blah blah. Oh my god. Oh, you look you don't look like a Burma artist. So just trying to change the way people think of Burma music and then more investment, more good work quality work, that's it, and then, trust me, people are going to hear it. I think you're doing a good job, one step at a time. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. And of course, uh, you've won different awards, uh, the one that stands out is uh, MTN, and you've won it yeah. four times. 
Why? Um, what? Did, what would you credit that to? Because there are other artists, but you've won like four times in a row. Uh, what do you think is like? How, how? How does that make you feel? And does that make you even work harder? Does that, 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 that motivate you to like to get in the studio and work even more? Yeah. Um, like I, that the year I won the four and what I worked very hard. You understand? So it was not. It was not something that was surprising to me, you know what, I, what I'm trying to say? Because I work a lot that year, everybody was playing the songs all over, and I work with the top producer that, uh, at that time. I, I featured some really good artists, so I expected that. And then, uh, but nevertheless, I still work harder than that, you understand? And I felt so proud winning the award and stuff. Even up to this time, when once they say, but my, once they say by my award, once they doing their work by my award, I imagine artists winning by my award now it is, but they still call me, oh, I got your award. I say, no, this that's not my award, that's your award, you understand? You got to call me by my king, you understand? So I just I, I just told them, like, yo, you guys have to encourage the young artists that are coming out to give them some award, you understand? I can't just be winning by my artist of the year every year, by my song of the year, you got to encourage, I, I was honest with them. And so we have to encourage the young artists that is coming out to it. it shouldn't be about KZ, 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 honestly. That's why before I drop up with my music, I wait, I wait some time for, for, uh, for, for another, give some space for other artists to do some songs, you know? You got trust me, once I drop up with my song, no matter why, it turn out to be a hit. And I'm about to drop another one before my tour in the US, it's gonna be like, trust me, like a hard kick. So, be so proud that at least, I'm giving those awards and stuff. Congratulations on that. So you had taken a break from music for a while, and uh, then you got back. It's good to have you back. What was happening at that time? As we were winding up, we just we're just curious. Uh, at that time, I just came to Australia. I was trying to settle one or two stuff, get myself together. And I was I was getting my studio equipment. I was trying to understand the industry in Australia trying to, you know, give 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 it some time, you understand? So I just gave it a year. And then that the one year I gave the music, like my phone was blasting every day. So I like, okay, let me just drop this song. And then when I drop this song, boom, it turned out to be a hit again. So I was just trying to settle myself when I came to a school and that's how I was like, okay. Yeah, then you came back and you gave us great two great songs. No pasta. <laughs> Pastor, no. Oh my God. Pastor, no. Video gonna be dropping in two weeks. It's a good song. Trust me. So, Pastor, no. Pastor, no. <laughs> Pastor, no. It's just all about, you know, people, fake, fake people nowadays in the church. You understand? They um they go to church. They act like they're the best, but not they. They, don't, they are not speaking to people in the church. They gossip about the pastor when the pastor is not around. They they love in the church. You understand? So I'm just asking: Do your pastor know know all of that? Do your pastor know you love in the church? Your pastor know you smoke caca every night. You know what I mean? So it just it's reality. That's why people like it, and that's everyday activities, things that happen every day. You understand? Yeah. You have a good rich friend. Tell us about that. Is that like, that's your latest project? Is that the one you yeah, have? Um, yeah. yeah, good rich friend uh, was done by the, yeah, he's a Afrobeat kind of star. So there is this Nigerian artist. He's doing well in Australia. His name is Currency Baba. So he came over from Sydney. He came to Melbourne and then he came to visit me just in the studio vibing. And I was playing the beat, and then the beat, the beat drop. I'm like, I see, I see, you like this beat? He said, yeah. I just started singing on the beat. My girl love me, and I love her too. A good rich friend wanna take me away from what she got. Spending money, yeah. He said, oh my God, let's drop this song, let's drop this song. And then that's how we drop it. Somebody make, it, it created a lot of avenue too for me, you know? Like, um, it, it play in Nigeria, in Ghana, everywhere. I I, I, I receive a lot of new friend requests all over the world and people, you know, a lot of people started asking, oh, I like that kind of music, that kind of style of music you're doing again. I'm like, yeah, I was just trying. Yeah, it's one of my latest projects, but my latest project was done in the in uh, in Grenada. It's a, it's a soca song called Bomb Shaker. Yeah, it was done by one of the biggest uh, producers in, in Grenada. 
<laughs> yeah, so that's my little project. And it because the reason why I got I got to know that in Grenada because the you know the where my music almost like the soca music. You understand? Same kind of a uh, a uh, 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 melody and beat and stuff. So that's how they like we're doing a album in Grenada and we like your sound. It's African, real Afro beat, Afro kind of song traditional. Can you come on the album? So that's how I did a song on the album called Bum Shake or Trust Me, it's a new song. All right, that's great. And unfortunately, we have to let you go because of time, but it was so good talking to you. And anytime you drop by Nairobi or Kenya, you have to come through our studios and say hello. Soon, very soon. <laughs> All right, I would love that. Uh, thank you so much for talking to us. We'll see you next time. I respect. One love.